Hello there. Happy Thursday to you. I hope that you're doing well. So yesterday we went over to the old house. We've still got a lot of stuff there and we have a lot of work to do and my husband wanted me to go through books and he pulled some out that he thought I probably didn't need to keep anymore because we've moved to a smaller house and um, we just don't have room. We don't have room for our stuff. So anyway, he had pulled out this algebra book that I had in college. He thought, oh, you couldn't possibly need that anymore. Well, that old algebra book brought back some memories. When I was growing up, I was not considered to be the sharpest knife in the drawer. No, I wasn't that smart. And I was terrible at math. I can remember my poor daddy sitting at the kitchen table and trying to help me with my math and I think sometimes he would even get frustrated with me because I just couldn't get it. I just couldn't understand it. So I went on through school and I did okay. Not very not very good. I was good at my music stuff for whatever reason. Music's very mathematical and I'm good at that <laughs> but not the, not the math in those books. Boy that was hard. So I went through middle school, it was called junior high back then, and high school. And you know how when you're a junior and you've got to do your the test to see, you know, how, how you rate so that you can get into a good college and all that? Nobody planned on me taking the test. I didn't take any tests. Nobody thought I would go to college. I guess they just didn't think I was that smart. I'll never forget going into the ninth grade and I was looking forward to taking algebra. I don't know why, because I thought it sounded kind of cool. And the teacher didn't recommend me to take algebra. She didn't think I could do it. So I never took algebra. And um, I grew up, didn't go to college. Nobody had any plans of me going to college. I got married had a little girl and in the back of my mind I always thought I wasn't as smart as other people I couldn't do it but I just had something burning in the back of my mind I wanted to go to college I was married I had a kid I even taught piano on the side I was good at that but I had this thing I needed to prove to myself that I wasn't stupid. So since I hadn't done any of the pretests before, whatever those are called, to get in college, I had to start at the very beginning and do every remedial class for English and math and whatever that they had to get into just the community college. So I did all of that. And, and then I got into my math the algebra and I've still got the book and um, I was determined to prove to myself that I really wasn't stupid and in that math book I did every problem not just the ones that the teacher assigned and in the back of the book there were answers and you could check to see if you got them right and you know what <laughs> I made an A in algebra. I think I got a hundred on every one of my tests. I wasn't stupid. But it might have been harder for me. I learned a little bit about myself that I could just do whatever it took me to learn it. I can remember in my history class, it was a very, very hard class, a difficult teacher who I adored. I would take a cassette tape and I would record the lecture. I would rewrite the notes. I made hundreds on all of his tests. But I guess what my point is is that I was determined to prove to myself that I was not stupid. You know, someone else was determined. Jesus Christ. He was determined to make a way for us out of darkness. That was a lot. That was hard work. You know, 
this is comforting to me. Isaiah 46, 4 says that even to your old age, I am he. And to gray hairs, I will carry you. I have made and I will bear. I will carry and will save. So God was with me back then when I had low self-esteem and nobody thought I could do it. And he gave me the determination to, to prove to myself that I could do it. Psalms 119.11 says, I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. So now that I'm older, I didn't know this back then, but I know that the more of God's word that I have stored in my heart, it's like the hymns, how God brings the hymns to my mind because I learned them growing up. And he does the same thing with his word. If we have it in our heart, we don't have to understand it, but if we've read it and considered it and talked to him about it, he brings it to our mind. And James 1.12 says, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. So, be determined. God has richly blessed each one of us with different talents, different ways of learning, but we can do it with his help. And, um... The hymn that comes to my mind this morning is Where He Leads Me. Do you remember this one? I can hear my Savior calling. I can hear my Savior calling. I can hear my Savior calling. Take thy cross and follow follow me where he leads me I will follow where he leads me I will follow where he leads me I will follow I'll go with him with him all the way well we've got a new song coming out It'll be out tomorrow. It's called Long Before I Start. And um, we're going to celebrate tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to go live on Facebook. <laughs> so why don't you come on and join me. Figure out what time it is wherever you live in the world. And we're just going to sing a little bit and talk a little bit. And just be grateful for all God has done. I thank you for listening. Now, it sounds like somebody's going somewhere. Um, I pray that you have a blessed day. I will talk to you later. <laughs>